Hello guys welcome to Stango's world. The big question today is. Can a man be pregnant? Yes, it's possible for men to become pregnant and give birth to children of their own. In fact, it's probably a lot more common than you might think. Human males do not naturally possess wombs to gestate offspring. The theoretical issue of male ectopic pregnancy. Pregnancy outside the uterine cavity by surgical implantation has been addressed by experts in the field of fertility medicine, who stress that the concept of ectopic implantation, while theoretically plausible, has never been attempted and would be difficult to justify even for a woman lacking a uterus owing to the extreme health risks to both the parent and child. Human males incubating fetuses are a subject of popular imagination and a recurring theme in speculative fiction. In some very rare genetic conditions, Genotypical males develop as female and possess the anatomy required for gestation, these intersex people have carried fetuses to term and given birth. In the absence of uterus transplantation, cases of viable ectopic pregnancies in females provide a potential model for successful pregnancy in males. But any attempt at such would be extremely dangerous for both the father and the fetus. Trans men may also become pregnant, provided they have not had a hysterectomy. Included in Syngnathidae are seahorses, the pipefish, and the weedy and leafy sea dragons. The males of some of these species possess a brood pouch on the trunk or tail, in other species. The eggs are merely attached to the male's trunk or tail when the female lays them. Although biologists' definitions of pregnancy differ somewhat, all members of the family are considered by ichthyologists to display male pregnancy, even those without an external brood pouch. Fertilization may take place in the pouch or in the water before implantation, but in either case, Syngnathid's male pregnancy ensures them complete confidence of paternity. After implantation in or on the brood pouch or brood patch, the male incubates the eggs. Many species osmoregulate the brood pouch fluid to maintain proper pH for the developing embryos. In at least some species, the male also provisions his offspring with nutrients such as glucose and amino acids through the highly vascularized attachment sites in or on his body. If you have learned something new today why not like and share this useful information to your friend and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay at the bright side of life with Stango's world. See you soon.